Hello there children. Today's topic is from chemistry, atomicity and valency. First we'll take atomicity. Atomicity is the number of atoms that make up a molecule. Let us take certain examples to understand it better. You have monoatomic molecules. That means there is only one atom in its molecule. The examples are helium, argon, sodium, potassium, iron, and aluminium. They do not have two atoms in order to form a molecule. Then you have diatomic, wherein you have the examples as hydrogen, where you have H2, two, two atoms of hydrogen coming together to form a molecule of hydrogen, O2, two atoms of oxygen coming together to make an atom molecule of oxygen, chlorine, Cl2 likewise, and nitrogen, N2 likewise. Then you have polyatomic, that is the example of phosphorus, which is tetraatomic. Tetra means four, so one molecule of phosphorus will have four atoms of phosphorus. And another example is that of sulfur, wherein one molecule of sulfur will have eight atoms of sulfur. Now the next topic, valency. Every atom tries to attain stability and in the process of attaining stability, it may lose or gain or share electrons. Now the number of electrons it loses or gains or shares is known as the valency of that particular atom. Now let us take examples to exemplify it better. Here I have taken the example of sodium. Sodium is the atomic number of 11. Its valency is plus 1. I will get to how is it plus 1. So the first or shell has 2 electrons. The second shell has 8 electrons. So that makes 10. Now 1 electron is there in the outermost orbit. It is easier for sodium to lose that 1 electron rather than to gain 7 electrons. Now why plus 1? When it loses one electron, what happens is the number of protons increases in the atom within the nucleus. So, when it loses an electron and becomes an ion, the charge on the atom as whole is plus one because it has lost one electron, so one proton is in excess. Similarly, let's take a look at aluminium. The atomic number is 13. Now here what happens, the first shell has 2 electrons, second has 8 and the third has 3, 8 plus 2 plus 3. Now what happens here, here too it is easier for the aluminium to lose these 3 electrons in the outermost orbit. Since they are in the outermost orbit, the forces which attract the protons and the electrons, opposite charges, is the weakest. So it's easy for it to lose those three electrons rather than to gain five electrons to complete its octet. Since three electrons are moving out, so three protons are in excess, so the charge on the atom is as such positive in the ion, and so the valency is plus three. Another example now, let's take of chlorine. What happens is chlorine, in chlorine is the atomic number is 17, so the first orbit has 2 electrons, second has 8, 8 plus 2, 10, and the third one has 7 electrons. Now, for chlorine, it is easier to accept one electron or gain one electron rather than give away seven electrons. So, it accepts that electron to complete its octet and become a chloride ion. Now, more one electron is there in a chloride ion, so the overall charge in the chloride ion is negative because one electron is more. So, the valency for chlorine is minus one. Let's take another example, oxygen, atomic number 8, the valency is minus 2. First orbit has 2, second orbit has 6, so it is easier for it to accept 2 electrons to complete its octet. 
So since two electrons are entering, the overall charge in, of, in the atom becomes negative 2. So the valency of oxygen is minus 2. Another example is nitrogen atomic number 7. The valency is minus 3. How? First orbit has two electrons, second orbit has five electrons. Now it is easier for this atom to gain three electrons rather than giving away five electrons. So when it gains three, these three electrons, the overall charge becomes negative three because three electrons have entered. So the valency of nitrogen is negative three. Now, a case where sharing takes place. A very good example is the carbon family where you have carbon, silicon, and all the other elements. Now, what happens here? Atomic number is six. So, here, what it does is there are four electrons in the outermost orbit. So, these, the carbon family would usually share electrons. They would share electrons. So with the other carbon atom, it would share electrons and complete the octet of the carbon 1 atom as well as the carbon 2 atom, thereby forming the octet for both of them. So the valency of carbon is simply 4. Thank you.